hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make some curry turkey neck so in my bowl right here I've got at least just over three pound of turkey neck okay and these are all of my ingredients here I have two stalk of scallion that I cut I also have one tablespoon of fresh thyme scotch bonnet pepper half of onion one small carrot these are all of my seasoning here I have one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning one teaspoon of jerk seasoning one teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of smoked paprika I also have some ginger just a small amount one teaspoon of my pimento seed garlic four cloves of finely chopped garlic and one small Irish potato guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up share this video to your families to your friends and everyone on your social media I will really really appreciate it I'm telling you this recipe right here is gonna be so 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 delicious I love turkey necks I hope you all will enjoy this video okay continue to watch guys I'm gonna also add one can of butter beans okay yes this is totally optional but I like to add butter bean to my turkey neck because it make it taste really nice and it just remind me of oxtail also so that's why I use it but it is totally optional just make sure that you drain off all the excess water okay and give it a wash so now guys I'm gonna season my turkey neck and I already wash it and clean it up I wash it in some lemon juice and some lime juice and some salt okay you know turkey neck you know you have to wash it good okay so you know when you're cooking it it's not raw it tastes you know delicious yes so firstly I'm gonna add some olive oil at least one tablespoon then I'm just gonna blend up my seasoning just a bit and just add it okay I'm also gonna add a round half teaspoon of my salt my fresh thyme some of my garlic just a small amount of my ginger my scallion just gonna add some scotch bonnet pepper and guys you can always add scotch bonnet pepper to your liking if you want it to be really spicy you add you know a good amount but if you don't want it to be spicy you just add a small amount okay because I know it's not everyone can angle spices my pimento seed so now I'm just gonna take my nice clean and and just mix it all in okay turkey neck guys remind me of oxtail so much it's shaped just like oxtail when you cut it this is like the ghetto oxtail yeah man ghetto oxtail I have a video on my channel and how I make the brown stew turkey neck so if you guys don't know you can always go check it out it is super super delicious but only difference I add a browning so now that it has seasoned guys I'm gonna add my curry powder and I'm using the Jamaican better pack curry powder but guys you can use whichever one you have okay this is the one that I'm using it's pretty good but you can always use whichever one you have okay I'm gonna add at least one tablespoon um, just one and a half tablespoon okay that's it and guys for this part you can always use a gloves yeah you don't have to use your beer hands and you can leave it to marinate guys for at least one hour or even overnight 
but as long as you season your meat properly guys you, it will still be delicious you have to make sure that all the seasoning is all covered on your meat and it will be nice looks so good guys i'm telling you it smells so so good i wish you guys could be in my kitchen it smells super super flavorful so it is nicely nicely seasoned and as i said you can always marinate it okay look at that So guys here I have my pot on my stove and my stove is on a medium heat try not to turn up your stove too high so now I'm gonna add at least one tablespoon of my olive oil and you can always use vegetable oil and you just want to wait for it to eat up just a bit okay so after I eat it up now I'm gonna add some of my curry powder because I'm gonna burn the curry okay so I'm gonna add at least two teaspoon of my curry powder I'm gonna also add some of my garlic and when you burn the curry powder guys you add more flavor to your meat okay and some people said when you burn it you know make your belly at you <laughs> so the curry you know at your belly but this is tradition so guys, you can do it for just, you know, a couple of seconds, okay? So this is what it look like after a couple of seconds. You can leave it at least 30 seconds, okay? So now I'm going to add my turkey neck. It smells so good, guys. Oops. Try not to add so much of the onion that leaves back in the pot, okay? So you can remove some of the onion and the time you just leave it in the pot. So now that I had my turkey neck, I'm gonna give it a stir. And what you want to do now guys, you want to leave it so it's sear for at least 5 minutes, okay? But don't cover your pot, because I'm searing it, as I said. You want it to fry a little bit, yeah. So try and just, you know, space it out. Yeah. So it's been just over five minutes. So I'm gonna turn it over. It is nice and fair. So now what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to cover it up for at least 5 minutes, okay? 
So it's been just over five minutes. So now I'm gonna check on my turkey neck. Look at that. Guys, look at that. It looks so, so, so delicious. May I tell you, it looks real, real good. As you can see, it makes a lot of liquid and that's exactly what you want. See that? This is what you want guys, it looks so good. And guys, you can always use a pressure cooker, okay? Because you know, turkey neck take a long time to cook. I think it take at least a hour to cook or so. But if you have a pressure cooker, you cook more easier. Wish I don't mind waiting. So what I'm gonna do now guys, the same bowl that I use to season my turkey neck, I'm gonna add at least five cups of hot water to it, okay? So this is the bowl right here. And as I said, I'm gonna add five cup of water. Maybe five to six cup, okay? What you wanna do, you wanna make sure that it's stirring, everything will all stir in properly. So all the seasoning go right in your water. So now I'm gonna add it to my turkey neck. Just add it to the side. I'm just gonna add some salt I leave half teaspoon of my salt and that's it. Give it a stir. I'll let you guys know exactly how long it's gonna cook. It might take an hour, it might take less. I'll keep you guys up to date, okay? So what you can do guys, if the water is reducing, you can always add some more water to it, okay? I'm telling you, it looks so good. The curry is just of a nice color. I love that. Nice and yellow. You can cover your pot or you can half cover it so it doesn't boil, up, boil over. So guys, my turkey neck been cooking just over 40 minutes. Look like, oh my goodness. Honestly guys, it looks super, super delicious. So, so, so good. Look at all that niceness. And guys, it is cooked. In my head I was thinking it's gonna take longer, but it didn't take longer at all. Did I show you? I'm gonna take a fork. As you can see guys, the fork go right through it. It is nice and soft. See that? That's what you want. Perfect. If yours hasn't cooked, you can always, you know, leave it to cook for at least another 15 minutes. But this is perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my remaining fresh thyme, scallion and onion, garlic and ginger that leave back, okay? Then I'm also going to add my carrot. Give it a stir. I'm going to add just a bit more water. And to my water guys, I add some more of my curry powder to it. So that's why it looks yellow. 
So I'm adding at least half cup of water, okay? Because I love, I love gravy. I like lots of gravy, so that's the reason why. And I'm going to leave it, guys, for five minutes, okay? Then I add my butter bean and my Irish potato. So guys, I just removed the lid and just after five minutes, this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to add my potato. And the reason why I'm adding the potato, because the potato is going to make the gravy thicken up. So that's why, okay? And then I'm going to also add my butter bean. Honestly, I wish you guys could be in my kitchen. It looks so, so good. Super, super delicious. This recipe right here, guys, is a must try. Your family, your friend, everybody, I will love it. It is so flavorful. I taste some, I may tell you, it is nice. It nice, bad. And you can always taste it to your liking. If you need any more salt, any all-purpose seasoning, if you have any magic stop cube, you can always add, okay? Just taste to your liking. This is perfect. I'm not gonna add nothing else to it. This is good to go. I'm gonna leave it, guys, for at least five to six minutes and it is ready, okay? So stay tuned. Don't forget to share. Share this video to your families, to your friends, and everyone on your social media. I will really, really appreciate it. Don't forget, guys, also to give me a big thumbs up. Because honestly, I work so hard just to give you guys these videos. So please, thumbs me up. And thank you all so much for your support. Well appreciate. So guys, my curry turkey neck is all finished. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to eat it. Guys, trust me, it looks so, 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 so good. Absolutely delicious. The potato, you don't want the potato to cook out too much in your pot, okay? You want it to be nice, you know, just a bit soft, but not too cook out. This is perfect. I'm going to turn off my stove. As you can see, the gravy is nice and thick. And when it cool down, it's going to be even more thicker, okay? You can serve it with some white rice, some rice and peas some dumpling, some banana, whatever you have. I'm going to serve mine with some rice and peas. So guys, now I'm just adding my turkey neck to my bowl right here. I'm telling you, this recipe right here is a must try. If you try this recipe, guys, do not forget to comment below and tell me what it's like. And share. Share it to your WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, everyone on your social media, guys. I'm sure a lot of people will love this recipe. It is so, so flavorful. I'm telling you. I serve mine with some rice and peas. You can serve yours with whatever you preferred.
So that's my rice and peas right there with my turkey neck and I also add some steamed cabbage. Oh my goodness, honestly, this is so, so, so delicious, guys. Oh my gosh, so, so good. I thank you all so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye. Don't forget to keep laughing, keep smiling, no matter what, because God is always on your side. Bye, guys. Much love.